Registered voters can, as you know, vote by mail early or in person right up until Election Day. That's this coming Tuesday. Well, the I-Team has been tracking the turnout, and our investigative reporter, Lolita Lopez, found that people are taking advantage of this opportunity to vote early. Lolita. They certainly are, Chuck. This election follows a presidential contest in November that saw record-breaking turnout in California. Voters then knew a lot was at stake, and it seems they have that same feeling now, though not quite at the same pace. Mail-in ballots getting sorted, checked, and ready to be counted on election night. Every registered voter in the state got one of these. The I-Team inside the Los Angeles Vote by Mail Operations Center to show you the detailed process. Voters in the state deciding who will lead moving forward. I think people want to weigh in on it, and there's a lot at stake. L.A. County Register Recorder Dean Logan says they're seeing a steady stream of early returns from the nearly 5.7 million vote by mail ballots. As of today, more than 1.4 million vote by mail ballots have been returned, with more than 29,000 ballots cast during early in-person voting. That's more than a quarter of eligible voters who have already cast their ballots. This election is getting a lot of attention. And in Orange County, officials are also seeing more and more people returning their vote-by-mail ballots each day. The county sent out more than 1.8 million vote-by-mail ballots, including military and overseas. At last check, nearly 31 percent have been returned. And the most returned ballots out of seven political parties represented in the county registered Democrats. Traditionally, Democrats vote early and by mail, while Republicans tend to vote on Election Day and in person. Don't forget, you can sign up for notifications like this one to let you know when your ballot is received and counted. Once you register, it will notify you for all future elections, too. And if you haven't cast your vote yet, a reminder from Dean Logan. There is a likelihood that there's going to be uh, high volume on Election Day. That's where you could run into maybe a little bit longer of a waiting time or, or possible lines. Now, it's a short ballot, so we think we're going to be able to move people in and out fairly quickly. But we're also still navigating this public health concern, too. Yep, those COVID precautions, including masking and social distancing, those will be in place at voting centers. So keep that in mind. And a reminder, too, that ballots will be rejected if they come in after a certain time and they're not postmarked by Election Day. In the November election, for example, nearly 4,000 ballots combined in L.A. and Orange counties did not count because they were too late. For the IT, Lolita Lopez, NBC4 News. Thanks, Lolita.